Hi my scholars, this is my school channel and my name is Abiola. Right here in this video lesson, we are going to walk through the topics, ratios, rates and proportions. Okay, so we are going to look at the different types of ratios, the different types of proportions. We are going to solve examples as well to better explain this concept. So all you need to do is to stay with us, cause we will be right back. Hi, welcome back to your favorite learning channel. All right, so we have the topics, the ratios, the rates, and proportions. Okay, so we can see that we've made compilations here to work through. So at first, let's kick off with the terminologies. Okay, so how do we define ratios? Ratios are just about relationship between values, between numbers. Okay, we are comparing numbers. We are comparing quantities of the same kind. Take note of that emphasis of the same kind okay their units may differ okay maybe by uh, portions okay but it is definitely of the same kind okay that is for ratios all right then we will now talk about rates or rates ratios okay rates they are just types of or they are another kind of ratio okay whereby what they do is that they compare quantities of different kinds all right so like for instance if i say i want to compare mass to volume okay you can see that those are quantities that differ isn't it so that will give rise to density okay if i'm com uh, comparing um, distance okay to the time used okay that is kilometer to hour or kilometer per hour so we can see that those are different quantities as well to give rise to speed so much more okay then we have proportions you no know, proportions compare ratios. You no know, ratios compare values. They compare quantities. Why proportions compare ratios? Okay, and it's a presentation that talks about the equality of ratios. So very well. Let's go to the types of ratios. The types of proportions. Okay. So before I launch in, there's something referred to as unit rate. So unit rate means that your Okay, so for instance, now in ratio, if I have A ratio B, okay, that means A over B, isn't it? Okay, or A to B, right? Okay, so the first one here is referred to as the antecedent and here as a consequence. Okay, so if I say unit rate, okay, unit rate imply that the consequence is one. Okay, so like for instance, I want to say, oh, 60 kilometer per hour so per hour means just one hour isn't it so you can see that the consequence there is just one so unit rate is just about one so i'm just trying to fix that in because we do not include the types of rates in this presentation so let's go back to the types of ratio so we can see that we have three splits right we have here we have here we have here this is because you know different kinds of presentation we tell you that oh, the basic types of ratios are direct and inverse sometimes equivalent okay others we say no or yes but there should be parts to part type of ratio and there should be parts to all type of ratio then as well, we can have others that will come up with, oh, there should be com uh, compound ratios, duplicate ratios, triplicates, inverse, subduplicates, subtriplicates, okay, ratio, equality, and the likes, okay, or even continued ratio. Okay, so let's kick off with the first part or the first set. Okay, so when we say ratios are direct, okay, it tells you that as the antecedent increases, okay, the consequence also increases okay they are moving in the same direction so if the consequence is decreasing as well the ratio is decreasing so when you talk about ratios that are direct or direct ratios you are talking about quantities that are actually moving in the same direction when it regards value okay then inverse means as one quantity is 
increasing the other quantity being affected now is decreasing okay just like the samples you can tap out from your definition if you are a science student of course okay when you talk about Charles law boys law you know the idea gas equation and the likes so what do we mean if we say ratios are equivalent okay that tells you that they are having the same value the antecedent and the consequence are having the same value so for instance if i have four ratio four you can see they have the same value okay so let's go to the next set okay some presentation will tell you that we have part to part ratio and we have part to whole ratio what we attempt to do in this video is to explain as many types as possible so when we say part to part that means in a whole population or in a whole compilation okay you are only comparing the parts that makes up the parts that make up this whole entity okay so like for instance if i say the ratio of boys to girls in a particular school so you can see that the total population is about the school okay but the parts or the individuals that make up the school they are boys and girls so you can see i can say the ratio of boys to girls will be three ratio four do we see that so we are actually picking on the parts okay so when we now say parts to o that means we are now comparing the o number or the whole population to a certain part of that population so like for instance if i say the number of girls okay in a particular school you can see that so let me say the number of okay let me say there are, there are 30 girls in a school all right with population or of a population of about 300 so you can see so i'm comparing the number of girls to the total population of the school okay 30 all right so do we see that so let's go to the next set we have compound we have duplicate we have triplicate we have inverse and so much more so what do i mean if i talk about compound ratio look at what i mean here so if i have two over three right and i have four over five okay so the compound of this will just be by doing this eight over 15. So, you know, when you want to compound things, you want to bring them together. You want to bring uh, more than an item together. So, just like you have compound sentence, right? So, you can see this. So, this amounts to compound ratio. Then we talk about duplicate ratio. You know, you are duplicate means you are making another copy. So, duplicate means I'm actually going to introduce a square to that ratio or to that comparison or that relationship we are looking at. So, like for instance, the duplicate of four over 5 would be 4 square and 5 square and that would be 16 over 25 that is duplicate then the triplicate would be 3 copies isn't it so that would be 4 over 3 and 5 over 3 okay that should have amount to 64 over 1 to 5 do we see that now so there are sub duplicates now that's another type sub duplicates now will now be the square roots okay of this so i can say the sub duplicate of let me say 8 uh, okay, that's not a good example. So let me say subduplicate of 16, right, over, let me bring it down to 81, right? Subduplicate will now be the what? The square root. So square root of 16 over square root of 81. That is 4 over 9, isn't it? So the subduplicate will now be the cube root of the values you are comparing. Okay, so we have inverse. Inverse means, you know, there's a switch in position. So like, for instance, if I have 2 over 3, the inverse will be 3 over 2. Do we see that? Okay, so these are the sets or the types of ratios that we can take in this video lesson. Alright. So let's move on to proportions what are the types of proportions that we can work through okay so we have the simple or the direct proportion okay so we have the simple or the direct proportion we have the inverse proportion we have the complex we have the continued okay i'm going to explain this okay so when i say simple just like what we have here the simple or the direct that means as a particular ratio is increasing remember that proportion compare ratio so as a particular ratio is increasing right the other 
ratio to is also what increasing okay so there the values are moving in the same direction so when it comes to inverse you know as a particular quantity is increasing the other quantity is going down okay so the same thing happens decreasing the other side is increasing decreasing increasing so that is the inverse type of proportion then let's go to complex you no know, complex now means you're having a particular question that actually combine this and this together okay i'm going to provide an example or examples to cover for complex co proportion okay then we have continued continued means the relationship that the first ratio okay we have with the next one will be the same thing that the next one we have with the third one will be the same relationship that the third we have with the fourth okay so this is what i mean so like for instance if i have a over b can you see that can we see that so we can see this is continued so you can see that the relationship between them is of the same all right so we are going to move on to the examples or the questions or the possible or likely questions that you can meet or you can encounter when you are walking through the topics ratio rates and proportions i believe you want to have access to the full video content all you just need to do is to click on the link in the description below it's going to take you to the my school website there you get to have yourself subscribed for the video lessons okay so and do not forget that you have to hit the like button also click on the subscribe button and always tap on bell notification so you can get alerts immediately we put up the next video lesson just for you